at the 2004 Big 12 Gymnastics Championships. The University of Oklahoma captured its first conference championship since 1993. This year, the Sooners, led by Aaron Labar, will expect a greater challenge. The number four ranked Nebraska Cornhuskers, with 2003 all-around champion Rochelle Simpson, will try to get back the title. Iowa State, with Janet Anson, Laura K. Powell, and Aaron Detloff will pose a challenge, as will Missouri, which will contend as well. The 2005 Big 12 Gymnastics Championships are next. It's springtime in Soonerland, Norman, Oklahoma, and with the dawning of the spring season, that means it's championship season in women's gymnastics. Here at the Lloyd Noble Center, it's the 2005 Big 12 Championships, where the Oklahoma Sooners in their home arena look to defend their Big 12 Conference Championship. And welcome to the Big 12 Women's Gymnastics Championships. Bill Jones along with John Roethlisberger. Oklahoma was a winner a year ago but it was as close a competition as you could ever have. Probably no different this year. Three of the top 10 teams in the country are here, John. I guarantee it will be a tight competition again this year. Three teams in the top 10, Nebraska, Iowa State, and Oklahoma. And don't count on Missouri. They're going to be right in the mix, too. Well, Nebraska ranked a fourth in the country coming into this weekend's meet. Now, last year, they were missing Rochelle Simpson, who was the 2003 all-around national champion. She's back this year. She is back, and she is back with a vengeance. She is dominating the Big 12 standings, and she leads a, an incredibly tough Nebraska Cornhusker team. They will be favored tonight. The Iowa State Cyclones are led by a trio of dynamic all-arounders, Laura K. Powell, Aaron Detloff, and Janet Anson. Any one of those three athletes could, could contend for the all-around title and most likely will lead that team to a potential conference championship. Aaron Labar will lead the Oklahoma Sooners. She has been the model of consistency for Coach Nuno, and ironically enough, she was a freshman walk-on. Alicia Robinson will lead the Missouri Tigers, and the Missouri Tigers could be the surprise of this competition. They are ranked at the bottom of the Big 12 standings, but crazier things have happened, Bill, and that's exactly why this competition takes place on the floor and not on a piece of paper. Well, the competition is about to begin, but to get things started, how about the lowdown, John, on just how this event works and particularly how the scoring works? Well, there are four rotations because there are four apparatus. There will be six gymnasts per team per apparatus with the top five scores counting. There will be 50 points per rotation possible with a 200 total points possible for each team. Okay, John, this is the way things start out in the first rotation. The four teams involved, Oklahoma will start on vault, Iowa State on bars, Nebraska on beam, and Missouri with the floor exercise. Nebraska, you would have to think, John, the uh, team to beat ranked fourth in the country. As close as it is, though, Michelle Zabawa gets them started here on beam. And I do not envy her one bit. It's tough to start off on any event in gymnastics because you're so nervous. There's so much pressure at the beginning of the competition. But to start out on balance beam has got to be the worst place to start. But on the other hand, if Nebraskans get through this event well, they will be set up nicely for the rest of the competition. Michelle Zabawa, the 5-1 sophomore from Omaha, Nebraska. Little wobble, a little, little wobble on that layout step out. Not a, not a big deduction. Really important, especially these first couple girls hit, to take a little bit of that pressure off the girls later in the round. The beam 16 feet long, 4 feet high, only 4 inches wide. And you get a great uh, perspective from this camera angle of how wide that beam really is. I mean, it's pretty much the width, width of her foot, maybe a little wider, but the stuff she's doing on it is not meant to be done on a 4 inch wide surface. You have those pre-meet jitters. This may not be the event you want to start on, but there is Zabawa on beam. And that's a solid start. You know, it's not going to be a huge score, but uh, that's what Nebraska needs. They just need a couple hits to get the ball rolling. Here's a great view of her feet on this beam. And uh, I tell you what, just walk across that thing once, and you'll realize how tough it is. No thanks. If it's on the ground, I'll walk across <laughs> it. <laughs> Here's the dismount. It's a gainer with a full twist. Relatively easy dismount, a safe dismount. Small deduction on the landing. Well, let's move over to Iowa State. And Iowa State uh, ranked in the top ten of the country, number nine, Casey Owenis. The 5'4 junior from Henderson, Nevada is up on uneven bars right now. 
And this is a gymnast that's, she's very clean. She's going to get up there, and she's very consistent, very clean. She might not do some of the difficulty that some of the other athletes do, but they're counting on her to hit a clean set and give them a score that they can build on that the Powells and Anthony's and Detloff's can put up the 9.9s and 9.95s on top of. In fact, Powell, Anson, and Detloff will go 4, 5, and 6 for Iowa State in their lineup here on bars. And don't diminish the importance of these routines. And we remember last year, Iowa State lost by .025, and you can pick that up in the first routine or the last routine of the meet. The full to right, straddle back to the low bar. You'll see a lot of great releases on bars throughout tonight's competition with the full pirouette. As you can see, very few deductions for the judges to take a clean double tuck dismount. Not very difficult, but again, it's a hit routine. She should score a decent score, and that will be one to build on. A hug from K.J. Kindler, the Iowa State coach, and Casey Owens gets things started for Iowa State. Here's another look at her dismount. It's a double tuck. You do an easy dismount like that, you better stick it. She had a little slide of that foot. I'm sure the judges saw that. Now one of the top Nebraska Cornhuskers on balance beam. This is Jamie Sauce, the 5'2 senior from Aurora, Illinois. And Nebraska started off well on beam, not great. They had two hit routines before Jamie went, but there were some wobbles and not very big scores, so they need to step it up. Nebraska coach Dan Kendig says Jamie Sauce has the potential to make the NCAA finals in balance B. She is a very enjoyable gymnast to watch. There's a front flip. Very difficult to scale in balance beam. It's difficult to see that landing when you're flipping forward like that. She's got great style, great execution. Full turn. Looks simple, but trust me, in this competition, nothing is simple. In his second year at the Big 12 Championships two years ago, tied for fifth last year in this event. There's a leap combination, Echo Fizzle, Quiet on Beam. And after a series flip flop layout, full twist dismount, very nice combination into that full twist dismount. That was a good routine. That'll score much better than the two preceding gymnasts. So smiles all around for the Nebraska Cornhuskers after Jamie Sauce does this on balance beam. And there's the, the view of the front flip, and you can see how she's coming around, and her feet hit the beam before she actually sees it. Another look at the dismount layout step out to a full twist, and that's kind of a, a sneaky little way to put the layout step out in there because you go right into the dismount. It makes it difficult to to fall off. You're actually falling off already. You just do the dismount right after it. It's very smart coaching. Now Laura K. Powell, back on uneven bars for the Iowa State Cyclones, the Canadian Laura K. Powell, one of the top contributors on this Cyclone team. And she's going to have to contribute big time right here because Iowa State already has had a fall on this event. That means the next mistake Will, will count to the, towards their team score, so she's got to hit. She's got to hit well. And there's six competitors for each team. They take the top five scores, so no room for error for Laura K. Powell. And there was no error. Stuck the dismount, exactly what a veteran needs to do after a mistake. Another look at the full twist over the bar, right to the double tuck dismount. An easy dismount, but the veteran sticks the landing. Nice job. More of the Big 12 Women's Gymnastics Championships from Norman, Oklahoma on FSN in a moment. 